We live. We live. Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's Cliff Mecca. And this topic is about the dollar collapse. And um, basically, you know, my thing on what you can kind of do to help you, you know, save some money and basically survive this dollar collapse if it happens. I mean, um, my wife really doesn't believe in it too much and stuff. I kind of believe, like, you know, um, you know, America will probably head into like a third world country. But anyway, if it does, like what you should do right now is, you know, kind of get yourself ready. And to me, it's like, forget about, I can't tell you about investing in gold and all that, but I can tell you about investing in your food. What me and my family do, what we try to eliminate is wheat, um, soy, dairy, definitely. We, we eliminate dairy. Um, what else? It's wheat, dairy, soy, corn. Definitely corn. So when you eliminate these things, what you do is you try to bring it down. The majority of stuff that you eat is gonna have like all these things that I just said. So what you try to do is just eat just one thing of soy, one thing of dairy, and you know one thing of wheat for the day. Because if you eat ten things for the day. The 10 things is gonna have that. But if you could eliminate it all together, you'll be great, cause you, you got, you're gonna go to the store, like, you know, your emotions gonna mess with you. Cause the first thing, everything has wheat in it. Everything has dairy in it and everything has soy. Like you can't turn nowhere without, you know, the food having these type of products in there. So when you walking around, you're like, I'm gonna pick this up. You're like, oh shit, this got wheat, this got soy. This guy there. And you're gonna be like, well, what am I supposed to eat? Me and my wife, we go into um DJs, we go on the Whole Food, and we're coming out like with one to two bags the most. BJ's, the majority of people that know that that goes in BJ's, their car is full, it's overflowing. We can never go in BJ's, I swear, and the car is nowhere full. We have like five, six items, right? So the thing is, I was saying, invest in your food, within your health. Like, I got enough money to invest in my health and stuff. Like, it ain't nothing. So, like, the basically the collapse thing of the dollar. I'm, I'm really not worried about it. You know, my wife, like I said, my wife, she doesn't pay that no mind. Like, she's not worried about it anybody. I look into it. I like to keep, you know, I look into different things with two of and, and watch certain stuff and you know read different little articles. But I'm not really worried about it if it did happen because, like I said, um, I'm investing in my food. And I'm looking at a lot of preppers that, you know, they they just go too much to the extreme. They got like meats like lined up and in freezer, which is cool. And they got all this food. But when you break down the real food that you should be eating and the, the proper nutrients, it's only a little bit of food. It's not that much food we should be eating. We think that we gotta eat like about a hundred things. And we eat, like Americans eat, we overeat. That's why a lot of the times we, we look the way we look because we think that we gotta eat everything and we shouldn't. So I challenge anybody out there, especially that see this video, try to go a week without eating wheat, soy, um, dairy, and corn. I'm talking about anything, corn meal, high fructose corn syrup, corn starch, just corn, period. Go a week. See if you could go a week. I'm talking about really looking at the ingredients. I'm telling you, when you go to the supermarket, you're gonna be mad at me because you're gonna be like, you're probably not even gonna do the challenge. You're just gonna just be like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And this is what's gonna like mess people up. Like I said, if the dollar does collapse and we have this big outrage that everybody's talking about, they're gonna, they basically like, they're gonna, um, they might catch a heart attack because they're gonna be like, I can't live without this. But if you, you know, mold your way from now, it won't be like, cause like I said, every time me and my, my family be going in and I be going to my kids, I'm like, kids, can't eat this no more, but such and such. They look at me like, they don't care. It doesn't matter to them. You know, me and my wife, we ate cornstarch and all that, and you kind of like, you know, grew up eating these things. So we, um, it took a little time to get off of it, but we got off, so we good now. But to a lot of people, they won't be able to do it. They're already bringing up their children eating these type of things. So like I said, challenge yourself 
And don't eat those stuff like I told you, the wheat, the soy, and the dairy. And also as you're doing it, watch your money. Watch your money. You're gonna be like, what is it to buy? You're gonna be thinking like, there's nothing out here to buy. Your money's just gonna go like this. It's gonna go up, up, up. And of course, you know, for the businesses that put this stuff out there, their money is gonna be falling because you're not gonna be buying it. But like I said, I, I don't believe that y'all gonna do it anyway because I don't think the majority of people got the heart for this. So I still wanna put it out there and hear back from somebody that actually did it. And like I said, do it for a week. Dairy, soy, um, what is it? Wheat and corn. You go to the supermarket and you try to find some, find oats as well, eat oatmeal, anything else. Just prep from now and just tell me like the results or how you feel, you know, how, how it went about. Like I said, invest in your food. Don't worry about all this about investing in gold and losing this and that. Invest in your health. Don't worry about all that. Well, to me, that's what I think, that's my opinion. I think more, for the utmost, you want to invest in your health. Because as long as you're healthy and you're thinking straight, we'll always have a brighter future. We we'll always have brilliant minds out here and people that can do great stuff. So invest in your health. Don't worry about with this dollar collapsing. If you don't do this, yes, people's gonna run around here crazy. I, I really desperately feel like people's gonna run around here crazy if this dollar collapse that everybody's talking about. There is gonna be some sick people. So when all the sick people's running to the supermarkets to get the meats and stuff, I won't be doing it. I'm gonna be heading somewhere else. Maybe out, out of the country or whatever. But while everybody going this way, I'm gonna be going the other way because I don't eat the same thing as you. So anyway, I didn't wanna make this video too long, but like I said, invest in your health with your food. And when you take the wheat and all these foods that I just mentioned out, you're gonna be like, yo, food is not really that high. Everybody say, you know, milk and all that stuff is high. Milk is not even good for you, like I said. But if you believe it is, then hey, that, you know, that's your opinion too. Everybody got opinions. But try it out and just tell me your results on you know, how you feel, how it was. I know you're gonna be mad if you, you know, if you're able to do it and, or you might be happy. But try it out and just let me know. Later y'all. That was it.